What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to do a ghost effect in Final Cut Pro X. So first off, this is what we're going to be making today. Take a look. So what you need for this effect is, of course, your ghost clip, but then you also need the exact same clip, but without your ghost character in it. And that's very important. It's also very important that you use a tripod and that your camera is very steady because these two clips cannot be different from each other or the effect will not work. And then, of course, you're going to need some kind of sound effect to give it a bit of feel to it. So what we're going to be using this clip for right here is we want it as a background to this clip because since we're going to be decreasing the opacity of this clip to make the dark transparent we want a solid background that's not transparent which is going to be this one and that's why it's so important that these two clips are not different from each other so go ahead and put this clip underneath the other one but as you can see this clip is like very short so you so I want to copy it by holding down alt or option on your keyboard and just dragging it and keep doing that until I have like the length that I want of course it's a good idea to have a longer blank clip but this is my solution so next up we want to decrease the opacity of this clip right here so to do that go over to your inspector panel and make sure you under the video and decrease the opacity to whatever you like. I like to keep it around maybe like 25, maybe 30, depending on your clip. Like, let's take a look at this. Yep, that looks pretty good. So that's basically like the ghost effect. But of course, this is not enough. We want to add some cool special effects to it. So go under the effects tab, click on the light tab, and add a glow to it. So drag that on top. So now we have this kind of glow to it, which makes it look a lot better. We can also go ahead and change the color and feel of this clip by going over to this color tool right here and hit show color board. And from here you can basically change the color of the clip. So I'm gonna try to add some blue to it. Let me take a look at this. You can just play around with it, see what looks good. Alright, so I found out that this mixture right here looks pretty good. You can go ahead and copy that if you want the exact same one. But of course you can do your own custom style to it. But th this looks pretty good. So the point is basically to have the, the dog or the character another color than the background. So just go ahead and top it off by adding the sound effect. And let's see what we got. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.